As a sports reporter, it's my job to present a totally unbiased account of a game or event. But it's finally baseball season, and it's no secret that I'm a die-hard Mets fan. Meet the Mets. Meet the Mets. Today was opening day for the 2014 baseball season, so I ventured around Brooklyn and Queens to pay a visit to some fellow die-hard Mets fans, who also happen to be diocesan priests and bishops. The Mets could always use some divine intervention, so it's great to have these priests on their side. I remember as a young child being taken to Yankee Stadium for a ball game back in the mid-60s and then to Shea Stadium, and I just loved the Mets for some reason. I'm happy to say that I converted in 1986 to becoming a Mets fan, and I still root for the Mets every single year. The Mets begin the 2014 campaign with plenty to prove. The Amazons, along with the rebuilding Houston Astros, are the only two teams in the big leagues to have losing records in each of the past five seasons. But even so, to be a true Met fan, one must have plenty of hope. Bishop Kajiano says, I'm a person of hope, I'm a Met fan. So obviously, yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. But um, they're building, they're building this year, so hopefully we'll have a little bit better season this year. I have not given up on them at all. I have never been tempted not to be a diehard Met fan. But it has been a little bit disappointing that we're not even close. As a Met fan, I'm an eternal optimist. But I'm also a realist in that the last few years have not been pretty. But like my fellow Mets fans, I still bleed orange and blue. In the team's 50-year history, the Mets have indeed had their share of iconic moments. My favorite Mets moment, them winning the 69 series, that was a, that was a big time. I was 14 then. I went and I, I saw uh, Tom Seaver pitches eight and a third perfect innings against the Cubs that year. That was, that was probably the, the best game I ever went to. When the Mets made the World Series in 86, you know, game six, and it was with a group of friends, and when it got to the point where it was one out, the guys all just gave up and left, and they went inside. They went outside. I stayed inside. I watched the, to the end of the game, and when the Mets won the game, I was screaming, I was yelling, and jumping around. As a classic. It's one of the top ten uh, baseball classic scenes of all time. A few key injuries may crush any hopes of a World Series title coming back to Flushing this year, but the young team should still be exciting to watch. This year, I am very confident that we're going to go over 500. I'm very confident of that. I don't think Sandy Alderson's prediction of 90 wins, I don't think that's out of the ballpark. I think I'm, I will stay with the 90. The Mets unfortunately lost today's game at City Field to the Washington Nationals, but there's plenty of season to go. And of course, let's go Mets. 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 Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari, and let's go Mets.